Hi, Floss Tube. <laughs> I'm Carrie. I'm Whitney. I'm Sarah. And we are Three Trail Stitchers, and this is a weird setup. It looks like some kind of like art project with like perspective. <laughs> anyway, because we're in a hotel room in Minnesota. Um, so we've been gone for a long while. Sarah and I went to Florida. Actually, it's been two weeks. It's not that long. Sarah and I went, no, you're fine. Um, Sarah and I went to Florida and we were there for like a week, like a full week because we drove there and back. And then we were home for a few days and then we came for the weekend to Minneapolis with Whitney. So we left yesterday, it's just a quick trip. It's about six and a half hours from Kansas City to Minneapolis. So we um, drove up here yesterday, checked into our hotel, had some dinner. And then today we went to Stitchville and buttermilk basin and then this other little um, general store thing and now we're back at the hotel after having spent way more money than we should have so if the picture's weird if the color goes in and out if the sound is weird that's because our setup is weird <laughs> it's just weird it's, it's just weird. weird it's all, weird. It's all the yeah. strangeness and we do have a lot of haul so i think we'll quickly go through like finishes and stuff like that and then if you want, when we record, we'll probably go ahead and record like Saturday. Um, and if you want to know more about Sarah and I's Disney trip, we will tell you about it then if you would like. If not, that's fine too. Because we have Disney Hall, it's just at home. So does that make sense? Yes. All right. So um, finishes. I have a couple finishes. Did I bring them all? I think I brought them all. Okay. So first of all, which is a miracle because we didn't really stitch at Disney like we planned to. We were too tired No, because we, we walked. Yeah, we took multiple projects, but we didn't really go yeah, a lot. Like seven and a half miles a day. Um, so I finished part three of the Little Dove Designs Follow the Yellow Brick Road Sal. So there's the Tin Man. And I was gonna use Diamant, but I bought the wrong color. I mean, I, the color was fine, but it was too light for the fabric. So I ended up using Etoile. I went to Hobby Lobby and just got some random Etoile. And I think it turned out pretty good. And you can kind of see the, the sparkle on it. So the only stitch along that I'm actually caught up on. My 25,000 stitch alongs. <laughs> and then I also finished my um, birthday start. You have a good chunk of that fabric left. Yeah, I have like half of it left. This is... You stitch me, but I don't remember what was the color. Honey. Honey. Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't like being this close. It's really awkward. Okay. So I finished this, which is called Legendary Girls. It's by Tumbleweeds, which is Little House Needleworks. And it says, I figure if a girl wants to be a legend, she should just go ahead and be one. So I had the top half all the way down to legend done before I left for Florida. And so since I went got home, I've done basically that. It went pretty quickly once I got going. So I did not think I would finish it, but once I finished the my part of the Wizard of Oz thing, I, I didn't really want to start something new and it was a whole thing. And then I wanted something quick to stitch Friday night because we left Saturday and I had finished the other thing. And so I picked up one of the, in my fancy X-Files bag. I picked up one of my X-Files patterns that I had bought. And so this one says, Scully, it's me. And this one says, Mulder, it's me. And I'm gonna, I don't know what, put them in hoops. And they did not, like I did this one Friday night. I did this one last night while we were watching movies in the hotel. And this is a remnant piece of, I think 14 count fabric flare twilight, which I really like. I do like that fabric. Yeah, I'd like to get more of it because it's very Halloween-y. You two should get a yard and split it. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. So anyway, so those were my finishes. Do you have any whips? Do you have, neither of you have finishes? No. No. Um, do I have whips? No, I don't currently have whips because I finished those things. So my whip? Yep. Okay, so this is from... Um, 
Um, it's from the same lady that my Dracula quote was from. It's from Frankenstein. It's, I don't even have it. What does it say? Wait, no, sorry. Beware. It says, beware for I am fearless, therefore I, therefore powerful. That's what the quote will say. And it's, be stitch me. I don't think it had a, a, a name on it. Oh, but it's like a, a greenish color night. fabric. Yeah. Awesome. That's my own wit. I like that a lot. And it's fancy floss. It's called uh, The Witching Hour. It's a fancy floss. Very cute. Not cute, but cool. So this is my Jeanette Douglas Vintage Animals sampler. And I have most of the alphabets, the, all the uppercase letters of the alphabet are finished. I have a few lowercase. But I had to finish that whole row because Carrie pointed out to me when we were at Disney and I was stitching one night that um, I started wrong. <laughs> and so I had to make sure there was going to be enough. I should have had my fabric turn the other way because it's uh, longer than it is wide, but it all worked out. Oh, so good. it's okay because okay. if I smells good, I tea and coffee dyed it mm -hmm. because if I had had to start over, I would have cried. Mm -hmm. And then I am doing this for a, I hope my person's not watching, but I'm doing this for a pen pal swap and it's Lindy stitches. It's her free little urn of horrors. Yeah. I'm over halfway done. Well, I'm probably halfway done. What fabric is this? That is Bestitch Me Stonehenge. Oh, okay. Because I had a piece left from when I'm working on your birthday style. It was on that Stonehenge. Cool. And that's all my stitching. Here comes all the haul. Yeah, I guess we'll get into the haul. So I have some stuff that I got before we went to Florida. So um, I bought this fabric and it's going to crinkle. I'm sorry. Sarah and Whitney were good and took all their stuff out. Oh. <laughs> this is a piece of Be Stitch Me that I bought from a Friday fight night. It's Ooh, that's pretty. flamingo. It's way more pink. It's turning up more orange, but it's way more pinkish. But um, it is six. Now it's 14 count flamingo. So I bought that from a Friday fight night. Um, turn away if you don't want to know what the fabric of the month is for Be Stitch Me. I feel like she's probably posted the picture. So don't look. Spoiler alert. So don't look. So this is the fabric of the month from Be Stitch Me. I get 16 count. Um, Sarah, I think it's 16. Whitney gets 14. Here's mine. Are they about the same? Yeah, they look pretty much the same. Sometimes they're, yeah, those are a lot the same. Mine looks a little bit lighter. And this is called Neptune. It's a really good, like, neutrally blue. Yeah, I really like so it. Um, and then I also got these before I left. This is Little House Needleworks Coming to America. Sorry for the glare. Um, who was stitching it? Misty. No, Missy Timberlake was stitching it um, from Instagram. And it was amazing. I got that. I bought this from a stash unloading far away. I'm so glad you got this. Yeah, I really like it. It's from Mercery. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. I was not a French. <laughs> I was a Spanish major, not a French major. And then I got this one, which is Sleepy Hollow Lodge from Little House Needleworks. And I love oh, it. Let me see that one. It's really neat. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay, now for what I've bought since we've been here in Minnesota. What I got is Stitchville. So first of all, the la our last stop was this like little general store, general store of Minnetonka. And I got one of these blue Q bags. I wish it was bigger, but I can use it as a notion bag. I really like these. So I got that. And I bought this um, hot pad, which is uh, the hot dishes of the Minnesota, different regions. Yeah. Um, and then before that, we went to Blue, uh, Buttermilk Basin, which if you don't know, they do um, wool applique mm -hmm. and quilt patterns and that kind of stuff. And so Whitney and I took a class on it once. Yeah, and we enjoyed it, but then I haven't done it since. So I would like to keep doing it. So or go back to it. So I bought this pattern. This is just an ornament. And these come with like all the 
wool and all of the things that you need. Um, and then I bought this one as well, which is Christmas ornament, the candles. I mean, there were a million things that we all could have bought and you will see what they bought shortly, but um, just really a lot of cool things. So I highly recommend that place. It was a lot of fun and we met the owner and she was incredibly very, nice. Very nice. Um, and she said they have lots of events coming up and they're trying to get back into that after the COVID craziness. So that's what I bought there. We probably could have gone in order and done what we bought different places, but that's okay. Oh, well. Just keep going. All right. Um, and then at Stitchville, that's the reason we came up was to go to Stitchville USA. We all bought quite a bit. Um, I did take some pictures, like some quick snapshots that we'll put on our Instagram at some point, like slowly we'll put them up. I took some pictures of Buttermilk Basin too. I think Sarah did too. Yeah. Um, and it was incredibly overwhelming. <laughs> There's so much stuff, but it was really fun to visit. Um, it's just, you feel what we loved about it is that like the fabric is not behind a counter. So they have lots of pre-cut pieces. So you can go up and touch it, actually touch it and open it and look at it, which I get why stores don't do that, especially during COVID, but, um, it was nice to be able to do that. So, but we bought patterns and fabric and various other things. So this is one that I bought. It's called Last Ride. It's from Pickle Barrel Designs and I really like it. It was like not even a second thought. Just grabbed it and got it. I got this Bent Creek, which I was really, it's not in our inventory. So I don't think we have it. We don't. It's called Smiling Back Jack. Sorry, I'm reading backwards. And I love it. I love the vulture. Yeah. I bought this, they have an, a huge amount of sale patterns it was that was overwhelming it's because so you could spend a week going through those and not see everything probably literally and they had a bunch of like models underneath that they were selling as well so i only bought one i had like five sale patterns in my hands at one point but i bought this which is from the work basket it's um fractor peacock and i love the colors that's why i got that i bought this shepherd's bush pattern, Halloween night. And I think it has buttons. But this, <gasps> Sorry. <let's bless> you. <laughs> this did not come with the buttons and it's not the best picture in the world, but they had a model there of it and it was amazing. I really liked it. So I bought that. And I've never had a shepherd's bush pattern before. So that's new to me. And then I bought two of these, and I don't know how you say it, Hinsite, you think? Maybe. You guys probably know. Two of these, they're um, vintage Halloween patterns. This is vintage Halloween cat. And, and they have a little charm with them. Vintage Halloween Jack. We were in Halloween-y moods, if you can't tell. We're always in Halloween. Yes. So that was the patterns I bought. I bought, oh, I bought a needle minder. This was a last minute edition that I wasn't going to get, but she taped it closed, so I can't get it open right now. But it's Prince because I'm like, what's more Minneapolis than Prince? So I got this needle minder and then we got a button at Buttermilk Basin, which I'm gonna turn into a needle minder. And then fabric, the rest of my money and a lot <laughs> of it was spent on fabric. So, but some of this was things I was gonna get on one, two, three stitch that were in my cart but we're back ordered. Some updates could not be installed. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Would you like that close up of me looking? I don't think they <laughs> saw it. Um, so I got a bunch of different pieces of fabric. So this is chalkboard because it's back ordered on one, two, three. Um, and this is a 20 by 25 and three quarters piece. I bought this to do, I think it's called Between the Pines in the um, cross stitch for the earth book. book. So I wanted this that is also back ordered on one, two, three stitch. This is just dark green and it's a 20 by 21 and three quarters piece. I bought this piece, it's 15 by 17. It's um, fabric flare maple bacon. I really like it. I know, I almost have And it's a smaller piece, but it's perfect for like a Halloween-y thing. Yeah. 
I got this to do, I think I'm going to use it for a praiseworthy stitches pattern that I have. Um, it's driftwood, it's 20 by 20 piece. Um, I got driftwood too. I did too, yeah. But I got it for a different reason. I got this, and I, what am I doing on this on? I bought this to do something on. <laughs> That's not the labyrinth pieces. No. I don't know why. Is that about the tiny modernist? Mm -mm. No, because I'm going to do that, I think, just on um, Fiddlers. But this is Mystic Gray. I know I bought this for a reason. I think maybe I just liked it. I don't know. Maybe that's what originally I was going to do Labyrinth on because it's sort of a greenish gray, um, oh. which I'll talk about in plans. But this is what I think I'm going to do Labyrinth on. And this isn't going to show up at all. This is called Fairy Mist with silver. It's like um, opalescent. And it's probably not really going to show up. It shows up a little bit. You, I can see some of the purple. Yeah. So it's really pretty. I really love that. And that was more money than I should have spent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Okay. This is my butter milk basin bag. Some of these are for my mother too. This one is for my mom. It's called Hello Deer. It's two little vintage deer. I mean, the cutest stuff you'll ever see. Cutest stuff. And this says free mystery block of the month. So I'm not sure how that works. I don't know either. So cute, little snowball. And this is another mystery block of the month. And then I bought this, of course, so she can do it for me. <laughs> I love this. I love that bat. Sorry about the lighting, but that's so cute. And then these two I bought for me to do. Oh, I, yeah, I love the little, I saw that and I didn't know you got it. These, which are like little flannel shirts with pants and suspenders. Oh, so cute. And then these ornaments that are like woodsy. It's very much my motif that and Halloween. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are really cute. It's from mm -hmm. Buttermilk Basin. And these are my patterns from Stitchville and I'm not even gonna pronounce that because I have no clue. Pon See. Pontini Puntini, I think. It's happy Halloween. I love that. That's really cute. I like the castle. I know the bricks. This one is uh from by the bay Needle arts. Needle arts. Yeah, I guess that is it. This one's happy haunting. And this one is a Glendon place. It says, trick or treat, smell my paw, give me something good to gnaw for my puppies. That's really cute. And I like is, that fancy floss they use. I'm going to do it in fancy floss. Elizabeth's needlework design is called Haunted Hollow. That was in their sales section. This homespun elegance, all about Halloween. Oh, scary. <laughs> Strange noises in our hotel. Yeah. I love those so much. This is my first Barbara Ann designs. It's called Wicked. And this is from the Stitching Parlor. It's called My Talking Board. And it is, of course, a Ouija board, and it came with this little Ouija tin that yes. has mints in it. And what are the mints shaped like? A little playing chess. Yeah. What, what? And then this is my fabric. This one is called Autumn Maples. You can tell from here that it has little maple leaves on it. Oh, that's oh, good. There you go, yeah. That's really pretty. Yeah, and this is fabric flare tarnished. Okay. <laughs> we go back tomorrow. <laughs> nope, I keep falling over. Sorry, folks. I can't put my legs. I really like that too. And this one says A V, so I'm not sure what that, but it's stormy night. Ooh, I like that too. Well, you got all the cute fabric flare, didn't you? I don't know if that's fabric flare. And now it says A V. I don't know what that means. Hmm. And then I got a piece of the driftwood like Carrie did. 
Oh, I like those. Okay, I also had haul from before we left for Disney. Um, I had ordered some things from Creative Poppy, and then I had some stuff from Friday Night Fight Night with Bestitch Me, and then I had ordered some hand dyed silks from Bestitch Me, and all that came right before we left for Disney. So these oh, are. I forgot to show my scissors. Oh, sure. Sorry. That's all right. Hold on, I gotta get another bag. And I bought a little pair of scissors that have little candy corns on them, and I bought the exact same pair. They're adorable. They just stabbed me in the leg. That's um, so my silks are, I got two skeins of autumn and two of all the colors. Those are amazing. Mm -hmm. I know, I think I, like I have an idea for all the colors and after looking at this fabric, I may just do it on this. So I kind of want to do a big foot <laughs> in all the colors. In all the colors, yeah. that would be pretty. Um, and then these are my two pieces of fabric I want, uh, Phoenix and the other one doesn't have a name. The dark, it's like a real dark brown, like a like, dark coffee brown with like lighter tan patches. That smells good. And then Phoenix, obviously. Pretty self explanatory why it's called Phoenix. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really pretty. Yeah. It'd be cool to find a Phoenix to do on that. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I had gotten three patterns from Creative Poppy. I got Lindy Stitches from Creative Poppy, from Fire Poppies, which we didn't get to go to because yeah. our last day at Disney um, was when the tropical depression was going to be hitting South Carolina and coming and also, Alabama, and yeah, Alabama. like it was gonna hit on the Gulf side of Florida. And so it was gonna be going through like Alabama and possibly Tennessee. and so we just decided instead of going to fire poppies, we would just head straight home, which I think it was a good idea we did that, but we still got stuck in furthest one. Um, anyway, from fire poppies, I got Lindy Stitches, Eagle Manor, and then I got the Saltwater Scrapbook, which is two parts. Part one is by the Blue Flower, and part two is by Lindy Stitches. Thank you so much. All right, so this is Eagle Manor. And I think there's gonna be four of those because I have Hedgehog House. This, this is the blue flower, which is amazing. And then this is the Lindy Stitches part. That pirate. And the octopus with the anchor. Amazing. So that was all stuff that came before we left for Dizzy. And then today, so at Buttermilk Basin, I got two kits and then three patterns. Um, so I got the candy corn bat ornament. That came that was adorable. Kit. Yeah, they had these finished there and they were so cute. And then I got, it's called Spooky Mini Quilts and it came as a kit. Does it have, it has both of these? Yeah, it doesn't have the fabric, it has the stuff for the wool. The the wool. wool. I love the tree. Yeah, that's really cute. And then I got two of the So Simple Balm. I got August and October because they're little patchwork squares that tells you how to do the patchwork and then you add the little applique over it. This has candy corn, this has crow on the sunflower. And then for mom, which she already knows about this, so I can say it. We got the Woolen Needle Handwork Bomb March. And then it's hard to see. I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of a really dark picture. Yeah, it's yeah. not going to turn up great. It's a crow with a, um, sorry, there's stuff popping up. Spool of thread, scissors, and then this sort of like, um, vintagey looking American flag. It doesn't really show up well. Mm -mm. So she'll have to make it and then we can show yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> we'll make it and then I'll show you. Or mom will make it and then we'll show you. Yeah, exactly. So that was Buttermilk Basin. And then at Stitchville on their sale, they had Bent Creek, the green, or green, the house, no place like home. And it's a three-parter and all three parts came together. That's awesome. So, yeah. 
Because you got the, like there's on their sale table, so it's like fourteen bucks. And there's for another all three. room. Is this another room? Yeah, there's three. Yeah, it's like the first part you get the outside and the room. So cute. And then ooh, and I and friends woodland spot, which is just a little sampler. However, the little bitty squirrel on it stitched over one, so I'll have to do something different. For those, oh, but I know. You could just pull that squirrel out and stitch him on his own. I mean. Um, and then the, what do you call it, Carrie? Hindsight? I don't know if it's, you guys probably know how to pronounce it. Hindsight? Hindsight? Like I don't know. I got the vintage Halloween owl and the vintage crow since Carrie got the other two. I love the owl. He's my favorite. Crow. I don't know how to say it. I'm going to stop saying it. And then two more sale items. I got uh, by the Bay Needlework. Carrie actually found this and gave it to me. Spot of the Bay Sampler. Oh, yeah, I really do like I this one. I love that. And I'm loving these little samplers with little bitty bits and pieces. It's so cute. Like, I love like this little, I don't know if he's a sandpiper or a gull or what. And the lobster. Those are really cute. Yeah. And then this was a kit and it's called the burrow and it actually came with a piece of linen. Oh, it came with all the threads. Is it 18 count linen or? No, I don't think so. Oh. I don't know what size. 32 count linen. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know, I might give the linen a try and or we might, might just take it away. <laughs> But it was also on the sale thing and it was 10 bucks and I thought, well, I paid it's 10 really bucks cute. for that I love pattern by itself anyway. And cute. then I got <clears throat> Harvest Time by Lilia Studio. So cute. I got Tis Halloween by Blackbird Designs. Yeah, which is amazing. Yeah, I love it. How we didn't already have this, or mom didn't have it, or yeah, it's beyond me. So good because it's all the little Halloween, Halloween stockings. stockings. They are so super cute. And in the back, there's a little pin cushion, and then it shows you how to take some of those and make them into like little necklaces. Yeah, and they're pretty small. They're only like um, 44 by 78. I mean, yeah. I'm sure you guys have seen it, and hopefully, I'm not showing that. And then I got the new punch needle. Oh, guys. Oh I know everybody's seen this. I feel like it's never going to end. I know we have so much stuff. Um, I know everybody's probably seen this, but has everyone seen this? <laughs> Barbara Anna. See dandelion. It's amazing. Like I want to start it right now, it but it's amazing. We don't know where Joanne's is, <laughs> but we, we may end up finding it. <laughs> We're going to Benihana. Benihana. I keep calling it Benihana. <laughs> Benny Hanna for dinner, so I may have to find a Joanne's tonight. And then I got four pieces of fabric. Um, I got Amazing Gray and Clay. I'm gonna do. Oh, I'll they're pretty different. I can see it when it's oh yeah, away. but I'm gonna use both of them you for can't the see it saltwater on the screen. scrapbook. And I think I'm actually gonna turn it into a little book. That's my plan. They're very similar, oh, but they're yeah. you can see the difference in person. This one has like a little more greenish maybe in yeah. it, and this is a little more grayish. And then I also got driftwood, which I'm going to use for the new tiny monitor. I really style. like it. I like that driftwood a lot. We all got it. I, <laughs> too. I put my piece back and got a bigger piece. <laughs> and then Carrie, I also got the fairy mist with silver that Carrie got because I'm going to do the labyrinth with her. And then I bought some fancy flosses because I bought on Etsy. Oh, I forgot about my floss. I bought floss too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's floss. Um, I bought the Quirky Quakers Mystical Creatures from Darling and Whimsy, and so I decided, I mean, they're not very big, so I just decided I was going to splurge and get the fancy flosses for that. I bought a new gauge because I think I'm going to start collecting little gauges. Does it have the shop name on it? Yes. It oh, see, so that's a good idea yeah. that from different shops we visit. Did yeah. you get one at um, they Silver didn't Needle. have one at Silver Needle, but since mom really wants to go to Silver Needle, yeah, maybe I'll find one. I didn't look for one, I guess. And I think that's it. I think um, I spent, 
I sort of stayed within my budget until we went to Buttermilk Basin. Lies, we all. And then I budgets. went over. And that no. blew my budget way out. Of the I had a budget, and I was under by twenty dollars at Stitchville. Stitchville, and then I went over that by twenty nine dollars at the Basin, Buttermilk Basin. Yeah, I bought some patterns online as well, but um. They're on my phone, which is over there, and so I'll show you in the next video. I think that's the only pattern I bought online recently. Is the um, I bought a couple. I bought those. I bought a few, creatures. but I'll show them next yeah. week. We'll yeah, show you there. Maybe I'll. Leave I mean, we went pretty quick considering we have a ton of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So this was a fun little trip. If you are anywhere near Minneapolis, I mean, we recommend it. They just have so much. It's it's very overwhelming. <laughs> they have so much stuff. Is there um, a shop we're going to tomorrow on the way home? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's called Welcome Stitchery. Welcome yeah, which used to be Stitchery. in Illinois, right? Yes, it used to be in Crystal Lake, Illinois, and now it's in, in Blue, Blue Earth. Minnesota. And it's on our way home. It's not that, I mean, it's a little out of the way, but not that far out of the way. Like so maybe 30 minutes out of the way. So we'll get up in the morning and um, go get Burgers Bagels. Go get Burgers Bagels because I have a problem with Burgers Bagels. Um, go to the other shop. Yeah. And then we'll start home, go to the other shop. And then we stop at this little Amish gift shop and they have a made right yes. in Iowa. And then we'll head and home. So you don't pass up made right. No. So this is, uh, if you are anywhere near Minneapolis, definitely come. It was so worth it. And I loved, uh, Stitchville was great, but I also loved, loved oh, no, Buttermilk Basin. Basin. Yeah. Um, even if you don't do wool um, applique, like none of us really do at this point. I mean, we know how basic, we know the basics. Um, it's so neat because she has so many like vintage displays and it's just nice. And Her she was so nice. She was so kind. Yes. And um it was and her and her daughter and it, it yeah was, her and her daughter and that oh, i don't know that may have been her husband there i don't know but um the way her shop is set up is just like like carrie said even if you're not that's not your niche it's yeah. just a beautiful place to go look at and get inspired mm -hmm. yeah and it'll give you um, so many ideas for different things you could do i mean so. it's even given me ideas for like because i've been wanting to create some cross stitch patterns and after seeing all those vintage ornaments yeah, it'd be fun to yeah. find some vintage pictures online and try and create some cross stitch patterns. Yeah. So, so it's definitely fun. It's not at all if you're from like our distance away. It's not a bad drive at all. I mean, it's a very it's free drive up here. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah it's and everything's really easy to get around. It, it reminds me a lot of uh, Kansas City. So, yes. I mean, the suburbs are pretty spread out, but it's easy to get from one place to the other. So it's kind of like you're 20 minutes from this place or that place or yeah, yeah, yeah it wasn't bad. So highly recommend, mm -hmm. still recommend the Silver Needle in Tulsa. That's only about three hours from, from us. So that's a little more doable as like a day trip. This, we definitely needed to stay the night. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, and we ate. All the places we, we did like the old tour because sarah and i used to come up to minneapolis to go to ikea a couple times a year to go to ikea before we got an ikea <laughs> so random <laughs> um and go to the mall of america and that kind of stuff um and so there's places up here that we like to eat and so we visited all those old haunts and we went to baker square I mean, yeah we like baker square we got a juicy lucy we got a juicy lucy yeah we went to the five eight club Going to Benny Haha's ha tonight. Benny Hana <laughs> and Burgers Bagels. And Burgers Bagels, which we're stopping yeah. to get Burgers Bagels on the way home. Yeah, so it's so been a it's fun been trip. Fun. And we basically are back to the hotel early and we watched scary movies all night and stitch because that's what we do. Because which is what we'll do tonight. Too. Yeah. yeah. We're watching, so. they're trying to watch the Conjuring movies in chronological order. Yeah. So um, should we do Media Corner? I guess I don't have anything for media corner, really. We've been watching scary movies. Um, for those of you that do like to do these little random trips, we have discovered that the Roku works oh, yeah. wonderfully in a hotel room. Uh, you can connect it right to the free Wi-Fi. If your hotel has free Wi-Fi, we were able to connect it in. And I have just the little bitty, ex I don't know, Express Roku or so. It's, it's got some kind of special little name. It wasn't very expensive, but, um, yeah, it's worked great. And so Carrie and I took it to Disney and we watched a bunch of stuff on Disney Plus and we brought it with us this weekend and we've been watching scary movies, which is our our thing yeah. anyway when we're stitching. So um, I highly recommend that if you have a Roku or an Apple TV or a Fire TV, next time you travel, throw it in your bag because 
Yeah. It's totally worth it. it. It's kind of nice just to spend some time in the Yeah, it's kind of like that. one of those, why haven't we thought of that before? Yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. Exactly. Because it will you now, know, it'll be a like normal be out on my path right. from now on when we pack for a trip. Yeah. So we will probably wrap it up. We'll do like a more formal, I mean, it's not formal, an informal, <laughs> formal episode. We'll do a real episode. Our, our normal episode. Yeah, okay. we're, we won't be like spaced out like a weird art project in school. <laughs> we'll be back um, with the tables and. Uh, anyway, so we will record a different, a better video next week and um, catch you up. If you do want to know about Sarah and I's trip, let us know. And I mean, we're more than happy to talk about Disney for a little bit. So Whitney's been getting to hear it all. She's thrilled. So she's really so excited. A yeah. little hint, Carrie and I used to be pin collectors when we went to Disney. And then for years, we just kind of stopped doing it until we discovered yeah. you can turn training pins into needle minders. Yeah. So uh, spoiler alert, we bought a whole bunch of pins. So oh, if you'd like to see our Disney haul, we will be more than happy to share with you all the pins and goodies that we bought. All the treasures. Um, but other than that, we will let you go because we have to uh, put away our treasures. <laughs> we have to pack away <laughs> our treasures and then uh, plan to go to dinner later. So get a quick nap and go to dinner. Yeah. Bye you now. and your naps. So we will um, let you go and we will see you next time. We'll be back in uh, scenic, balmy Independence, Missouri. <laughs> right. mm, it's going to be great. So. Hey, at least it's not 110, which is what I read in the paper. It was, I think, in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, so all of our friends in the uh, so Pacific our, Northwest, yeah. we're sorry. We're so yeah. sorry. Yeah, well, we, while Sarah and I were in Florida, it was literally 10 degrees cooler, cooler in, in Florida, Florida than it was in Kansas City. So. And the humidity was either the exact same or a couple days we actually yeah. had lower humidity in That's Florida. Right. Yeah. Um, but also in Florida, that can change in an instant. <laughs> yeah, so we went to Florida for a break from the heat in Kansas City. So, yeah. um, so we get it, believe me. And I can't imagine no. you guys having to deal with that. So, um, so take care and we will see you uh, next weekend. All right. Bye. Bye. See you real soon. Got to find the stab record. <laughs>